Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. Hello everyone, here we are. Wow, it's week 25. We are doing so much. We have a little more work to do about work. Oh dear. Well, I think the jobs we have been looking at have been really good. I think I want to do all of them. Maybe. Can you think of any jobs we have not talked about? Well, there must be. There are so many, many different jobs that we could do. So, there must be some new ones this week. Hmm, can you think of any? First of all, hello, how are you? How are you today? Can you remember all four of our great answers? Yes? Good. Which one will you choose today? I am fine. I am good. I am great. Or I am wonderful. Which answer would you give today? Can you guess which one I'm going for? Yep, I am great. So, what is new this week? We have four new jobs. That is a lot of jobs that we have looked at then. Great. But first, let's try to remember what we looked at last week. Hmm. Um... Well, some good jobs, but what did we say about them? We've also been using some really great sentences to talk about the jobs. We looked at new verbs. Verbs are so useful, they tell us what people do. We looked at repair. There we are. He's the mechanic. Create. She's the designer. Heal. She is a vet. All the jobs had a different verb. I hope some of the verbs were new words for you. Always good to have new words. Let's have a look at a sentence and can you see the verb? I am a vet. Well, there's no verb there. There's no action word. I heal animals when they are sick. There is a verb now. Heal. Heal. It means to make well again. The cat is sick. We need the vet to heal the cat. What a good verb. The doctor that you go and see will try to heal you. Let's move on to this week. 
Good, good. Let's see if we've got some new jobs. First, we have four jobs we know. What are they? Construction worker. That's one of my favourite jobs. It's very important. Vet. I think we all like the vet. Makes sick animals well again. What a great job. Mechanic. A mechanic might be really important for mum and dad. You don't want to have a problem with your car. One more job that we already know. Baker. What a super job. The baker bakes cakes. Oh, that would be a great job for me. Now for new jobs. Ooh, now that is a difficult word straight away. Let's look at the picture. Okay. Paramedic. 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 These are people that help you before you see the doctor. You will see a paramedic if you've had an accident or something like that. They come out to see you, they help you, and then they take you to hospital. What a great job, paramedic. Waiter, that's someone else that helps you. What does the waiter do? A waiter will bring food to you. Thank you. Secretary. Secretary. That's a very important job. They are a little bit like a librarian because they organize things. But this time, the secretary will do lots of work and organize things in an office. It's a good word, isn't it? Secretary. And we've got one more new job. Scientist. That's a great job. There are lots of different kinds of scientists. Scientists look at different things. They look at everything in the world, don't they? But we're just going to use the word scientist. What a great job. I love science. So, four jobs from before and four new jobs. So we have eight jobs again. Let's ask a question. Always good. Do you work inside or outside? Hmm. Well, I'm a teacher, so I work inside. I work in the school. I work in the classroom. Hmm. Some jobs are outside, like a farmer. Some jobs are inside, like a teacher or someone who works in an office. We can answer with usually or always. Hmm, let's have a look how we can use those two words. Usually, always. 
We're going to have four different answers. I usually work inside, but not always. Hmm, what job could that be? Maybe a teacher. Maybe if you're a, a PE teacher, you might work inside, but not always. I usually work outside, but not always. Hmm, maybe that's a farmer. I always work inside. I think that might be the librarian. I always work outside. Hmm. Could that be the paramedic? Hmm. Maybe it's the construction worker. Hmm. Can you think of a job that is always done outside? Hmm. So, there we have four answers. We can say usually or always. We have to try and think about each different job. Hmm, what is your workplace called? Good question. We will also give you that answer. So, maybe your workplace is a hospital. Maybe your workplace is a school. Mine is a school. The doctor's workplace is the hospital. So, we're going to have a very long answer this time. We're going to say some different things about each job. Lots of information about the different jobs now. So, let's ask the question. Do you work inside or outside? I am a waiter. I always work inside. I work in a restaurant. The waiter. That one's quite easy. We do have lots of information there, don't we? We've got the job. We've got how often they work inside. And we've got the name of the workplace. Let's read that one again. I am a waiter. I always work inside. I work in a restaurant. Think this week which jobs you would like to do. Would you like to be a waiter? Let's look at another job. Do you work inside or outside? I am a construction worker. I always work outside. I work on a work site. Sometimes that can be called a building site. So, a construction worker always works outside and he works on a work site or building site. It's a great job. 
Is it a job you would like to do? Hmm. That's a difficult question. Let's go and look at job number three for this week. Can you remember the question? Do you work inside or outside? I am a vet. I usually work inside, but not always. I work in a clinic. So, the clinic is inside. Maybe the vet needs to visit a farm to take care of the cows and the sheep. So that would be outside. So the vet usually works inside, but not always. I wonder which one the vet likes best. Do you think she likes working inside the clinic or outside at the farm? Hmm. Which one would you like? Let's look at our next job. You ask the question. Do you work inside or outside? I am a paramedic. I usually work outside, but not always. I work in an ambulance. So the paramedic is usually driving around in the ambulance, trying to get to an accident or any place where someone is sick or hurt. But then sometimes they have to go back to the hospital. So they are usually outside, but not always. I think it's a very, very exciting job, but I think it's very difficult. Is this a job you would like to do? Here's another job. Let's ask the question. Do you work inside or outside? I am a mechanic. I usually work inside, but not always. I work in a garage. That last word is the place where the cars are repaired. Do you remember the verb? The mechanic repairs your car. The word garage is a little bit different because people from different parts of the English speaking world We'll say it a little bit differently. I come from England. I say garage. So sometimes the mechanic is inside the garage. But maybe there's a problem with a car and the car's on the road. So he might have to go outside. Just a little bit. Is mechanic a job you want to do? Think of all the amazing supercars you could work with. What's the next job? Do you work inside or outside? I am a secretary. I always work inside. I work in an office. I think working in an office as a secretary can be really quite a fun job. The 
main thing you do is help people. That's always great. You do have to be very organised. Hmm. I wonder if I'm organised. Hmm. So they always work inside in an office. Is that a job you would like to do? Here's another job. Do you work inside or outside? I am a baker. I always work inside. I work in a bakery. Now, the baker bakes in a bakery. Wow, the job, the verb, and the workplace. They're nearly the same. The baker bakes in a bakery. And that bakery, of course, is always inside. Is that a job you would like to do? Hmm, I think I'd get too fat. There are more jobs. Do you work inside or outside? I am a scientist. I usually work inside, but not always. I work in a laboratory. Wow, that does look exciting. That's a long word there, isn't it? Laboratory. Laboratory. Quite often, people would just say, I work in a lab. L-A-B. Lab. That makes it easier. So the scientist usually works in a lab. But maybe they're looking at things in the environment. They would have to go outside then. Is that a job you would like to do? It's great working as a scientist. So, there are eight jobs. Let's see if we can remember where they work. Let's read the jobs quickly first. Paramedic. Vet. Waiter. Construction worker. Scientist. Mechanic. Secretary. Baker. Now let's look at the places. Restaurant. That's where a waiter works. Worksite. That is where a construction worker works. Bakery. That is where the baker works. Laboratory. That is where the scientist works. Office. That is where the secretary works. Ambulance. That is where the paramedic works. Garage. That is where the Mechanic works. I think there's one more. Clinic. That is where the vet 
works. All good places to work. Now, where do they work? Who are we talking about here? Where do your mum and dad work? Have you been asking them about their jobs? Don't forget, jobs are a really, really important thing in every person's life. If you are interested in mum and dad's work, I think it will make them really quite pleased and proud. Go and ask them where they work this week. So what is next? We have just a little more to talk about jobs next time. What have we got there? Scientist, waiter, paramedic. Three super jobs. Have you been thinking about what job you want? Do you want to be a teacher? Maybe. So we'll see you soon. He's our strange little friend. Let's say bye to him before going off to meet our final two friends. They love to say, thank you. See you next time. Bye everyone. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe, and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.